Hi, I'm Matt, and this is my brain. It's literally my digital memory and thinking space. For work, I manage clients and marketing projects, but I also travel a lot and keep an active life with my wife and two kids. It's a lot to keep track of, and I couldn't do it all without my brain. Let me show you a few things. The brain lets me organize and access all my information the way I think, so I can have a thought for everything I need to do, like projects or marketing research, or what's currently on my mind, which is my upcoming family trip to Yellowstone. And my brain can have everything in it. I can launch files, web pages, and even preview graphics. On the left, my brain's visual interface lets me see and discover all my information and how it's connected. The content area on the right shows notes and attachments, such as web pages or files for the current active thought. Each thought has its own individual note. It's like having an ongoing journal for every thought in my brain. And it's really easy to see and navigate information relationships within my brain. Anytime I click on a thought, that thought becomes the current active thought, and I can see everything that it's related to. Everything below the active thought is called a child thought, so I can navigate deeper into an area of interest. Or go back up by clicking on the parent thought above the active thought. I can also see sibling thoughts. These are thoughts that share one or more of the same parent thought. And a jump thought on the left. These are thoughts that are related to the active thought, but not necessarily categorized as a child thought. It's easy to get started with a new brain. Just type in the brain name, and now I'll start creating some new thoughts from my life and work. I'll just click and drag off the child gate to create a new child thought. This way, I can keep track of everything that's important to me and refine my thinking. I'm going to create some key thoughts for my business. Under my business thought, I'll create thoughts for company departments and current projects that I'm working on. Notice that I separated each individual thought with a semicolon. This is a great time saver and allows me to create a group of individual thoughts all at one time. And there's no need to click on a save button. Everything that you do in your brain is automatically saved. I've created some additional thoughts under current projects, and now I'll start adding some attachments. A thought can have any type of content attached to it. Just click on the Attachment button in the Notes toolbar for an array of options. For this thought, I'll select to add a file from my template list. I'll select a Word document. And when it's time to save my file, it's automatically saved internally in my brain. In the content area, I can see details and easily access this particular file at any time again in the future. I can also drag and drop existing documents and other attachments in and out of this area. In fact, I have some documents on my desktop for a new website project that I'd like to organize in my brain. I can drag and drop a single file or multiple files to an existing thought or underneath the active thought to create new child thoughts. My document is copied into the brain as an attachment. The default setting for dragging and dropping your files into your brain is for these files to be copied in, but you can easily change this setting in your preferences so files that you drag and drop into the brain can be moved, copied, or linked, depending on your preference. But the real advantage to having things inside my brain is being able to make those key connections. This new product line belongs not only under my website thought, but should also be linked to my product research thought. So I'm going to click the gate and drag a link. I'll start typing in the name product. I just type in the first few letters and notice that product research 
is an existing thought. I'll double click and link the existing product research thought as a parent of product line. Now I can access this document by clicking through either path in the future. I can also drag any URL into the brain. I recently stumbled across an obscure website with lots of helpful information and other links that I don't want to lose track of in the future. So I'll drag the URL from the address bar in my browser into my brain to create a new thought with a link back to that web page. My brain is really starting to grow, and I'm going to be coming back to this particular thought quite often. Therefore, I'm going to create a pin. With pins, you can have your key thoughts at the top of your brain. See them as reminders for specific projects and get to those areas of your brain quickly and easily. I can also search in my brain. I'll just type in a few letters and find all thoughts, notes, and file attachments that contain that text. Finally, I'll sync my brain to the cloud. The brain cloud gives me access on multiple computers, devices, or even within a web browser. And keep in mind, internal attachments are synced to the cloud for backup and mobile access. As you can see, the possibilities are endless, from my personal hobbies to my next marketing campaign. The brain brings it all together and captures my thinking like never before. So what are you waiting for? It's time to expand your mind and get started using your own brain so you can think faster and do more.